Gorilla Technology Group is a global solutions provider for intelligence for business and also IoT, Internet of Things technology. With me is Jay Shandon, the CEO and Chairman of Gorilla Technology. So great to have you here. Thank you very much. And I know you went public uh, just a few months ago uh, here at the NASDAQ. So sure. explain that process and why you thought it was important to go public in the U.S. because you're a U.K.-based company, right? That is correct. Yeah. But first of all, thank you for having me here. Um, the process of going public was part of our globalization story. Uh, what was exciting for us was to convert or take a small Taiwanese business into a global enterprise. You know, what we do is convert, take smart cities and make them smarter and safer. Mm -hmm. And so through that process, we wanted to educate lots of governments, speak to private enterprises, but more importantly, it was about having the visibility and access to the capital markets as well. So when we, when we decided to go public uh, back end of last year, what was important for us was what was that visibility going to gain with the customers, but more importantly, how much of impact it would have on the government agencies, especially if you're working, to establish that level of trust. Mm -hmm. And we thought the US markets was probably the best suited for that. Yeah. Now, explain how this works, like the smart cities. And is there artificial intelligence involved in that? that? Is so correct. like, how would the consumer benefit from your technology? That's a great question. Um, so what, what was interesting about Gorilla, it's a 20-year-old company. So we've gone through a variety of phases in product development as such. So when we started out as a video analytic business, we started putting in AI to understand what that meant, how we could track people ethically mm -hmm. and more securely. When we evolved from that, we realized that the governments were knocking on our doors and talking about smart cities. Okay, smart cities mean a lot of things to a lot of people, right? It's about how, the, uh, how you could minimize waste, how you could reduce congestion, and so on and so forth. So when you talked about smart city, we would go in to a customer to understand his digital transformation story. And when we knocked on those doors, our customers came back with a very specific requirement, safe cities, which not many people are talking about. So when you talk about safe cities, it's about how we could build uh, network intelligence, how we could provide electronic security, how we could provide cybersecurity, right? Customers have been asking us this question over and over again. I have got this whole IIoT, OT, and IT infrastructure. If I get hacked, I get hacked across a variety of these environments. Mm -hmm. And what is also very interesting is that the customers just do not have a single solution today. They have to deploy a variety of solutions. So that's where Gorilla comes in, and Gorilla provides the end-to-end -end transformation story for them. We will handhold them through the initial phases, go through the entire journey, and stay with them for the foreseeable future. Okay. Now, you mentioned you were founded in Taiwan. That is correct. Recently moved to the UK. Yep. What was the, the decision behind that? Well, twofold. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most important reasons for us was to adhere and provide visibility to our GDPR compliance. Because okay. an AI company, we don't hold data, mm -hmm. but what is interesting is that customers always want you to conform to some regulatory standards, right, to a higher standard. So what we have done is we have actually created our own internal ethical standards, which we abide by, but we also abide by the European regulations as well as the UK regulations. And that makes us a little more, diff it gives a differentiated approach to other companies in the market. What is also exciting was the UK government has provided us a lot of leverage. They are asking us to meet with a number of the local players in their local markets, uh, namely the MENA region, namely the Southeast Asian. I'm part participating in a trade delegation next week uh, with, the, with the government of Indonesia, the government of Thailand, and so on and so forth. It's about the process of educating them and getting them through the smart city mm -hmm. transformation. So that must be part of your global strategy. It I is know, part of my I global strategy. I know that you have been yes. trying to implement since yes. becoming CEO. Can, yes. you, can you elaborate on that a little bit, their strategy? My strategy is, is threefold. First of all, first most important thing is I want to make sure that my customers are successful. Now, to do that, we've actually built a customer success alliance, uh, which is predominantly focused on our customers. Second, build on the R&D. Customers require a lot of things. A customer might want you to boil the ocean, right? It's about boiling that first kettle. So we go in and provide them solutions which make sense for them and provide ROI. And final, most important, is my stakeholders. I want to make sure that my stakeholders are absolutely clued on at any given point of time. They're well informed. 
and we will protect their interests at any, every single point. Yeah. And you're also participating in this trade delegation, right, to Southeast Asia, Indonesia? Yes. Indonesia Asia? and Thailand. And Thailand, okay. So explain that, how, what is, um, how does that benefit the company? What do you hope to achieve there? Well, um, we're not talking about direct business, but it's more about understanding what their transformation story looks like, because not every single customer has the same requirement. There is no one size fits all. So what we want to do is we want to go into the customers, understand what their requirements are, allow them to then um, talk to us about their transformational story. What is that end goal going to look like? And then we step back and say, this is where you need to start with. Provide the first basic consultancy for them. And then drag them through that process. Whether it's, you know, whether it's AI, whether it's cybersecurity, or whether it's providing end-to-end -end services like platform as a service. We could do everything, but it's about starting small. Making sure that you have your ROI. And most government agencies today are confused. So we're trying to eliminate that that point of confusion for them and make sure that it's more effective. Any implementation they do or any investment they do is more effective. Okay, if I, I just want to ask you, like, how, how are all our cities operate 10, 20 years? Like, what will we be, will be more efficient? What will it look like? Well, the urbanization, if you look at the way, um, this is quite interesting. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't want to predict flying cars, <laughs> but um, what is interesting about the way, where we are today is the transformation of urbanization has taken place much faster than we'd expected. It's all about how can I make it more efficient for my citizen, but more importantly, the message which is we're now uh, passing out to the market is about making sure that the data is safe as well at the same time. Everybody's worried about data privacy. So can I make my utilities more efficient? Can I reduce congestion? Mm -hmm. Can I uh, reduce, um, um, increase uh, footfall into my retail stores? is what people are looking at today. As that progresses, we see a cohesive bonding of the infrastructure. That means your IIoT meets OT meets IT. That's going to become unified as a platform. And when that becomes unified, that becomes your holy grail. That means you're able to understand what Jay is going to do when he steps into the store or when he walks on the street. Yeah, interesting. And can I get a parking space? That's like my main question. Absolutely. With IoT. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Right. Jay, thank you so much. It's it been absolutely fascinating pleasure. to hear about Gorilla. Thank you very much for having me over. Uh -huh. Thank you.